Hey guys, Dominator666 Mods here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get online on Rebug 4.70 DREX as well as use uh, GTA 5 Mod Menu. Um, today's video we're going to use Flocks Menu as well as Endeavor Sparks Menu by Welsh. I believe Sabotage was also involved. Okay, so I figured I'd make this video because I have a lot of new customers that don't know how to use their consoles, let alone use the Mod Menu, so I figured I'd just come over here and get menu um, so let's get started first thing you're gonna do when you get your system is you're gonna put your user information on there and then you're gonna come over here to network settings and set up your internet access once you do that and you restart your PlayStation your irisman now if you don't have irisman I suggest you put it on there just because uh, fan control utility doesn't work on this, on this particular firmware and for some reason, you're supposed to be able to do it in Webman. Um, but as you can see, you go to Webman Setup here and go in here and it asks you for a four-digit pass password, which I have no idea what the hell the password is. Now, it says it's only available in normal mode, but in normal mode, Webman isn't even showing, so I don't know. So instead of screwing around with all that, we're going to come into Irisman. Press X on Now, when you get to this screen, oh, first, actually, you're going to set it up, and in order to set it up, you're going to have to set up the screen to fit the, you know, to fit your screen. So you're going to, to do that, you're going to go left on the D-pad, and also up on the D-pad will bring the screen down. Left on the D-pad brings it in. Okay, so once you've done that, and you're in this screen, you're going to press start, go to tools, go to control, fan, and USB wake up. Now, default is going to be F5 or 5F sorry now if you come over here and go by user by user and come down here oh L1 by user and then go to user shutdown speed Just change it by hitting L1 I like my speed kind of high because save settings That's not. And there you go. Okay, so once you've set that up, I actually want my speed a little bit higher than that. You can hear my fan going, which I like to hear it a little bit higher than that. So we're going to go 7D, and you're going to watch. You'll hear it kick on more. We don't want it that high, so we're just going to go 7C should do it. Seven A. All right, so that should keep it nice and cool. As you can see, the temperature down there on the right, 58 and 57. We want to keep it really cool because. Um, when you're modding, the systems get really, really hot. And you also want to make sure that your system's away from the wall. It's not obstructed. Um, try. I, I personally don't like to keep mine flat unless I have a um, uh, computer fan underneath it. And on my personal PlayStation, I actually have my personal PlayStation on uh, a laptop fan as well as I have one of those plug-in fans for the back. You plug it into the back and then just plug it in, plug your plug into your power plug into that fan. And then you got two speeds on that, which I, I love, absolutely recommend. Okay, so to get out of here, you're going to press circle and then press circle again and exit to XMB. <laughs> Once we're in the XMB, Yo. Uh -huh. We had a kid. If I 
have them, I'll tell you, I do. If not, then... Yeah, These are the games that are on the system. Then I'm smoking. Bought this shit. Okay. All my units are sold on eBay, guys. I don't do just send me PayPal money and I'll send you a system. No, it's not the way it works. I use eBay so that we both are protected in the sale. Let's people know that you know it's a legit sale. Now I'm a legit seller on eBay. You're gonna pick, click X on GTA 5 and pick it. I am a legit seller on eBay. I have a score of 380 something, I believe, or somewhere around there. I'm almost to 400 on sales and uh, buying on there. So you you know that you're buying from a trust. Uh, all 100% positive feedback. So you can buy with confidence. Now, after we've come out of here, you're going to notice that the game that you had in the disk drive, which you need to have a random game in there, uh, it changes to Grand Theft Auto V. On this particular firmware, actually, you don't even need a disk, but I suggest you put a disk in anyway. Just throw Guitar Hero or some random stupid game that you're not going to be playing. Alright, once it's switched, you're going to come down in here to Rebug Toolbox. <clears throat> and again, you have to do this every single time you come in because this is the equivalent of um, item manager, what we used to do with that to ch uh, restore original console ID. Can't do that anymore because nothing is compatible with it. Anyway, you're gonna come over here to utilities. You'll see toggle QA flags where you know you're in the right spot. Scroll all the way to the bottom. The very last one is change active PS3 ID. You're gonna change that to Kex, okay? It's gonna take a second. It'll tell you to please wait and then it'll tell you it, it changed uh, three to five different things on there, and it's okay. And successfully applied three changes to LV2 memory. Sometimes it's more, sometimes less than five. Now that we're in there, we can hold the circle, quit to XMB. And guys, a few people don't don't come freaking out. They're, oh, it didn't do anything. It just told me no request of that. It always does that. All right. Now that you've done this, you're able to come over here and you can actually sign into PSN. Now, if you did not change the PS3 ID, you will get an error 80020A uh, something or other. I, I can't remember the exact code. If you get that, just remember you just forgot to go into Rebug Toolbox and switch the PS3 ID to Kex. Now, we've done that, so we'll be able to sign in. You'll notice right away that uh, account management will pop up. Okay, and you can see I am online. You come over here to the game, and you're gonna press X on the game. Pretty cool. Uh, first thing though, when it loads up, it's gonna ask you if you wanna load the Endeavor menu by Welsh and Sabotage. You are obviously going to say yes if you wanna use this menu. So, and as you see right here, it says, do you wanna enable it? Yes, we want to. It's going to load the Endeavor menu. And there's going to be one other step, too, to get online. If you don't do this step, you're going to get a error timed out crap. We don't want that, so just do what I do. As you can tell, the... Um, Startup pictures are all changed. And also, uh, if you have any save data on there, just delete the save data because you want to actually go to the first mission. I believe even if you have the save data on there, it will kick you to that first mission anyway. But if not, you just restart. <coughs> Guys, if you're on Ida, uh, 465 Ida spoofed to 470, it's still the same. You won't have to do the rebug toolbox thing or the um, 
the Irisman to change to turn on your fan, which by the way is another thing. As soon as you get that black screen though, you can actually back out because you will hear your fan kick on once you've set it to this. If you do like control fan utility, have to actually go into the PKG in order for the fan speed. We're about to start here. First mission. So we're gonna press start. We are gonna go to online. Online. Now notice how it looks now, it's white lettering and all that. Play GTA Online and go. Now stop right here. When you see this, you're gonna press the PS button. You're then gonna sign out. Sign back in. And then we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna sign out and then back in. If you don't do this, you're gonna get an error timed out. So just do it. Offline. Do it. Once you see the PSN symbol, you can press the PS button. Come in here to GTA Online. Now you're going to notice the words are different. This is how you know you've done it right. You're going to press play GTA Online. Go. And now you will actually be able to get online. I'm not sure why they didn't replace pictures on this or if screw things up. Gonna get a black screen. Just a minute. It does take a few minutes to load up, so don't get all freaked out. get in here online you're gonna see right away you're online you're with other players that a fast forward fast forward all loaded it online anything on you think that the PS4, they made it so quick to log in and get into a session. It's ridiculous that, that they have not fixed this on the PlayStation 3. Okay, now we are online. There we go. And I'll show you that there are other players in the lobby. You see that right there? <laughs> now... First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit, and I'm gonna save the best for the last, by the way. The first thing we're gonna do is hit L1 and circle to open up all of our script menus. And as you can see, there's a lot in here. Uh, I do not use half of these. I, I only use five, to be honest with you. Um, I use app to intense, click X on it. K and K Dark Horse, click X on it. If you look right beside them too, it shows you the buttons to open them up. Okay, so pay attention to those buttons. I also use rocket car and I use car hydro jump. Um, we're going to press circle and get in the car here and I'm going to show you what rocket car is. This is rocket car. You shoot rockets, you hit right on the d-pad, you shoot laser rounds. Right on the d-pad again, shoots tank rounds. Again, we'll shoot fireworks. If you hit X, actually jump and if you tap X slowly like once every two or three seconds you'll notice that you kind of float around if you tap it a little quicker you can go higher but angle your car forward so that you can go forward while you're doing it and don't go completely n nuts with it because if you do that then you're just gonna just keep going up and up and up which you know okay also a rocket car I believe it 
and uh, Hydro Jump gives you um, God Mode on the car. It does show visible damage, as you can see, though. Um, so, so we can continue on with this video. I'm gonna shut off Rocket Car and Hydro Jump real fast because it's gonna get annoying. Back out of that. So right now we've just got the App Two Intense and K and K. Now App Two Intense is R1 and Square to open. Okay. First one thing though, I like to use L1 and back. Oh, no, that's the good one. <laughs> uh. Oh wow, that is totally great. L1 and R1, sorry, they changed the buttons on me so uh, in order to use the Endeavor menu with it. So now we're in K and K Dark Horse. You go to Player Options and Self Mods and then you can turn God Mode. Uh, I'm not sure if Endeavor Rays want if Mental State works or not, we'll find out. Uh, Super Jump, you can make yourself invisible or not. I don't use that. I use Anti Ragdoll. I use Never Wanted. One of these works and one doesn't. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, it's a one hit kill. But we're going to leave this one on. We'll use the other one, the Dark Horse. Uh, sorry, App to Intense to do the uh, one shot kill. We'll turn up these two. Let's circle the back out of that. Circle again. Vehicle options I use. You can use Rocket Car here. I use it standalone though. You can go with neons. If you keep clicking on and off, it'll change. So every time you click on and off, it changes to a different neon. Uh, nobody else can see this. The only the only people that can see it is you. Um, you can turn vehicle god mode on. I use no visible damage though, and I also like to do the race boost. Now this works in actual races too. You can do this in a, in a race. And I would set it to like something low, like 14. For, for that because if you multi uh, keep pressing it, it gets faster and faster. So a couple presses and you can go really fast. Let's back out of here. Um, you've got, you can spawn these things in here. I don't use that for the vehicle, the uh, uh, objects. Teleport options. I don't use this for teleport. I use app to intense to teleport. Uh, the map mods, though, you can turn on the aircraft carrier and all the yacht and whatnot. But uh, I'm going to leave those alone for now. Now, R1 and square to do this one. You can go to vehicle options. You can put the car color changer on. Um, right now, it's only. I don't know if you could really see it, just kind of shine differently. Garage, and we can go to body modifications and just hit back on each one that you want to use. Okay, if you go forward, it'll bring you a different one. Side skirt. Huh? Really? I never so hear the baby So coming fast. Let's go four for horn. Uh, wheel type, change that. You can change those and put custom tires on. Go to performance upgrades. And then, like I said, back for everything. And I'll bring you to the highest one. Alright, so now that that's done, I don't believe there's any vehicle actions, no. Okay, so we can now back out of that. Now if you, I'll get out and you'll see I have no weapons except for a rocket launcher. I have those and that's it. That's what I got, okay. R1 and square, weapons. We're gonna turn the one shot kill on. Pick up oh. and see if it works on this one. It's one of them that doesn't want to work. Boom. Knock it. Yeah, that one works. Okay, so R1 and square again. We're gonna go to weapons. We are gonna go give all weapons and then give all DLC weapons. And now you'll see. See what I mean? I have all the weapons. What the fuck? Okay. 
Someone was just in my car. Weather options work. Teleport. This is yeah, what I, I I like I to use this one. Right. This is the teleport me. option I use because it gives you so many different places that you can go to. Um, North oh. Yankton. Oh, let's not do that. I don't know why I didn't do that. It's not loaded. Um, inside the FIB building, and you can bring other players in with you. Let's go to. Try to stay away from the 400k and 500k apartment there, because for some reason, it will um, it just lags you like crazy. Um, so I tr I tend to stay away from that one. All right. Uh, let's see who's the lowest in here. Five. Little Jester. All right. So we're gonna be nice and go to Little Jester online player, and then we're gonna teleport to him. Catch him. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to teleport him out of his vehicle so I can catch up with him. <laughs> Get in the car, dude. Come on. I'm not going to go through too many options here, but <laughs> um, let's bring him into the Humane Research Lab right here. The American healthcare industry. Put my gun away. Alright, now I'm going into the good one, which is L1 and back on the D-pad. I'm going to go to online players and I'm going to find little Jester here. Where is he? Right there, we are going to give all weapons, and then we're going to go, we can clone him, okay, cash drop, this is my favorite one, because you can do a bunch of different things, you can drop dildos on them, weed plants, Christmas trees, Boxing gloves, which is stupid. Neon signs. These are all two thousand dollars a yeah, piece, by the way, guys. The um, gold crates. Come on, hurry up and pick them up, buddy. All right, yeah, we'll we'll wheelchairs. Mind on its own. I'm gonna Weed blow it up. Weed pallets, which is oh, above them, which I don't like those. Bumper cars. <laughs> Shopping trolleys. <laughs> Toilets. Okay, no more paint. Again, another stupid one. It spawns them in the air and doesn't drop them. Rifle drops. These things look oh, like oh, thunder guns from Black Ops. Oh. Bank safes. Dummies. Oh. And you can drop 40k, ba 40K bags on them. See this? Now, the cool thing about this one is that you can actually do more than one thing at once. I like to pick, like, two at, at the most, maybe three. So, let's go with rifle drops with it. And now it's dropping 42 at, at a pop. Okay, now we can also go here and go to more player options right here. And we can set chop on them. You gotta hit it twice. Set mountain lion on. Set swap player. Uh, <laughs> He's shooting him with a taser. I just realized. Um.
can attach you a foe. I'm taking you out. Get back. Um, you can also set, uh, you can also set, um, Lester on him, which Lester will come with a rocket launcher. What the fuck? Um, you can make him kill the lobby. No, no, it's little jet stuff. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do, you know, uh, you can hijack his vehicle from him, um, <clears throat> give all, I already gave all weapons, kick him from the vehicle, and call him again, what are them? all sorts of different things. What do you have? So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, I'm going to cut this short, if you did, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you could, please uh, share this video, and, um, you know, so we can get this channel to grow a little bit more. Hey, game, and thank you to man? all you loyal subs that have been here and, you know, been with me from the start. Um, and for all you guys that just bought a system, enjoy them. And, uh, you know, contact me if you need help. Uh, my Skype is the same yeah, as man. my YouTube account. Uh, just please, if you're trying to contact me on Skype and you want to friend request me, Send me a message with your friend request saying, hey, uh, I'm from YouTube and I need some help with so-and-so, whatever. Uh, can you please give me a hand? And I'll be glad to help you if I can. If I do not get with you guys, it usually means that I am working on a client's PlayStation or, you know, doing oh, another PlayStation. Tricky, man. There's There's no working on a laptop or something. So uh, just be patient and I'll get back with you as soon as I can, guys. Right. Have a good one. See you in the next video.